people gathered at the steps of Terre Haute City Hall with the important message that there is help. That message hits close to home for April Dilg. He was amazing. He was just the kind of person that you just never think is going to do something like that. You know, the one that's always trying to make everybody else smile and laugh, and you just would have never guessed that he was in that much pain. Dale lost her son Drew Apshire March of 2017 when he committed suicide at the age of 21. He credits the event for helping her cope with her loss. For me, it was very bittersweet, but like I said, it was also the first time that I had people around me that had been through the same thing that I had been through. So it kind of helped because unless you've been through it, you can't truly grasp it. Team of Mercy held a second annual World Suicide Prevention Day vigil. Those impacted by suicide gathered to comfort each other, remember their loved ones, and raise awareness about the illness. If people don't want to talk about it. They think if you talk about it that that'll start a ripple effect and that there'll be more suicides. But suicide needs to be talked about. We need to reach out to those people. One by one, more than 90 suicide victims were honored. Those were also lit and lanterns were released into the sky, lighting the way for those in need of help. Suicide doesn't end the pain. It just stops what can happen in the future. That, you know, it, it can change. You know, we all go through hard times and some of them are darker than others. But, you know, people love you and you're enough. Team Mercy has been helping folks in the Wabash Valley since 2013, and members hope to continue their efforts until everyone has the help they need. Mike. All right, thank you, Taylor. If you want more information about suicide prevention, we will have links on our website, mywabashvalley.com.